you're going to do a time lapse, the first thing I would do is I'll get your lens and I will turn it to a manual. Make sure you focus to infinity or make sure you, your view that you're focusing on is actually in focus. Second, I would set the camera to manual um, or you can set it to aperture priority but if you set it to manual, set all your settings in. Um, basically take a test shot first, so basically take a shot, make sure everything is exposed and then keep those settings because when you do your time lapse it's going to take a series of images at those settings. Now if you use aperture priority it's quite good because what happens then is is that if it goes too dark it changes a little bit. I wouldn't say you use auto ISO because it can make it it can make your images too bright but I would say either use aperture priority or, or manual settings and um, just go but just keep, keep your eye out on the changing conditions um, and that will be a start. Hi guys, today's little vlog, as you can see I've got the hat on, I've been outside, I was going to do the vlog, um, this mini vlog outside, but it's absolutely freezing at the moment. So all it is is today, I'm just going to show you the basic settings for time-lapse photography with a Nikon camera, if you don't know. So if you do know, you don't have to watch it, but um, basically what I'll do is I'll just kind of um, talk you through the back settings and the menu, basically, for um, time-lapse photography, and um, just talk you through a few steps you can do to make um, to capture the clouds moving or if you want to do a building project or if you want to do um, the kids running around on the beach or you want to do just really um, just make things different for b-roll for instance um, so yeah so I'll try and talk you through the little settings and I'll show you some of the videos that you can get for those settings right I've got the camera in front of me there so if I just switch the camera on and go to menu and in the actual camera settings Go to AF mode, keep scrolling down, past all your image size, your RAW, your ISO settings, your light and your colour space settings, your long exposure noise reduction, that should always be switched off. Switch that off as soon as you get your camera. And then your next thing you'll come down to, if you keep scrolling down, is either interval time of shooting or time lapse movie shooting. We're gonna today we're just gonna do a little quick video on time lapse shooting. So you'll press that and you'll this is the first screen you'll come to. So we press the time lapse movie mode, and what we've got here, we've got the start, interval, shooting time, shooting smoothing, I think that mine's switched on, silent photography, switched off, it doesn't really matter about that, we're not in a building, we're outside with our friends and enjoying ourselves, so a little clicking away doesn't matter. All you do is, so, what I first did when I started, I set the interval to one second, and when you put it on one second, it kind of speeds up, it's taking a photo really quickly every second with a one second gap. And when you do a movie, the clouds kind of move past really fast. Um, what I'll do is I'll post that in a second. Yeah, so what you can do is you set it to one second, so click on here, move the timer, go to the very bottom and set it on one second. Now what you do is there, it's saying one second, if you shoot for one and a half hours, one hour 39, you will get four minutes of footage. So you don't really need to shoot for one hour 39, um, so what you can do is you go down to just an hour say, um, and that will give you three minutes exposure. So three minutes of a video. So that's one minute. Let's get it down to an hour. There we go. 
one hour. And that's really long enough to be fair. Unless you want you to do it all day, you can do it. I think it goes about five hours. Or if you're going to do a longer movie, so if you did it if you took a picture at once a minute, then you could you could shoot for five or six hours quite easily and taking one picture a minute. Yeah, so if we go to the interval of one second and we shoot for 48, um, 48 minutes, that will give us two minutes, two minutes of movie time. Now, if we um, shoot any longer, if we go up to an hour, you'll notice that the time has gone into red, which means basically we need a bigger memory card. The memory card I've got at the moment in this um, is a 32 gig memory card. Now, we go to settings. Um, There we go. So it's a frame rate and size. I've got it at the the movie it makes to 24 frames a second. Um, just because if you do a longer, if you do a faster frame rate, when you make that movie, you have to shoot longer because it speeds up the the the, the images are put together and the, sh the the you can slow the film down if you wanted to. But when you do it at 24 frames a second, if you do it at 60 frames a second, if you shot for an hour, you'll probably only get. I don't know off the top of my head, but you probably only get 30 seconds of, of a clip. So if you go to 24 seconds at 4K, that will give you a good frame and a good good quality images. So choose image area, it's FX. You can go to crop sensor on mine. Um, don't need to do that. And that's your basics really. I mean, what you can do is if you were to go in the garden and you were build a shed, a garden shed you could put the interval time up to a minute or even every five minutes take a shot every five minutes and you could watch it or you if you wanted to do it you could do it for if you were doing a project at a building site or you're doing a project um, lots of kids running about if you set it every five minutes and take a picture and then put the movie together there'd be so many gaps but it looked really good so there's lots of options you can do but this is just a video basically to get the your basic settings so Click into start, go back. So you click into time lapse movie, click on start, and it'll be preparing it, it'll start taking the shots. And as you can listen, that's one every second. And it'll just do that until until your one minute or your sorry, your one hour or your two hours or your three hours are up. And then you look at the results. And what I'll do now is I'll just so Go back to the menu, time lapse movie. So we have one second interval. I think I did it at, I did one movie at three seconds and I did one movie at five seconds. And you can just see the difference in, you know, the clouds moving look really good. I can't show you on the back of here. Um, in fact, can I? No, I can't, I'm afraid. So we'll post the videos now and just leave a comment below and, you know, see what she thinks best. I actually prefer the foot, the five second ones because the big dramatic clouds, um, it just makes them look really good. So if you were on a mountain or you were up in the Lake District or you were doing something around the coast, if you give it a five second gap, it seems it just seems to make so much of a difference. And also as well, if you're doing one seconds, your battery goes really quick and you're taking so many photos, so your movies can't be as long, if that makes sense.
Hi guys, well I hope you enjoyed this little vlog or this little video instruction manual type um, just learn the basics of time lapse photography. Um, for me it's just kind of, it was really funny because when I first started the vlog today or when I first started it I was in the garden, I, that's where I was outside taking um, videos of these dramatic clouds, they look really good. Um, so I started to do the vlog there and then the girls, the twins, um, came round and so I had to move inside the house and then I came inside the house and they followed me inside the house which is lovely. Um, so so now um, I've escaped into the garage just to kind of finish it off so that's why you'll see all the backgrounds and all the all the bits and pieces changing and um, the vlogs aren't very um, professional shall we say and do you know what um, the vlogging side of it I'm not professional I'm just I'm learning as I go I'm winging it as we go and um, it's all good fun to be honest whatever's going around the world at the moment with coronavirus and you know as long as you can smile with your family and you can try and make people laugh still we've had a, we have a laugh in this house and it's all good fun if you can't see my feet at the moment but I'm stood over a load of timber and um, I'm, I'm doing my best to stand up straight my uh, wife's bought a doll's house or sorry a Wendy house for the girls and there's about 50 million pieces of wood in this garage so uh, even just walking in the garage is a, a bit of a minefield it's like trying to walk up a um, striding edge so we just got to try and do the best make the best of a bad situation and um, yeah just carry on I mean um, People might not be able to do time lapses, so it's they might be able to pick something up from this. And um, I hope you like the footage, to be fair. So until next time, take care.